So you want to start your first garden, but you don't know where to start. There's a nice little tiny patch of grass by where you park your car every day and you walk into your house. What are you going to do with it? I'd say you should plant some vegetables. You should plant some vegetables. You're also going to plant ones that are going to be easy to start. Set yourself up for success. So today, if you want to start your garden, you pick out your spot and you go cover it. You grab cardboard, you grab a tarp, you grab whatever you can, and you cover it right now. You put a couple rocks on it, and you let the sun and the heat and everything else, the lack of light, start killing off weeds while you do the rest of your planting. That is the first thing you stop, drop, and cover today. I bet you got some Amazon boxes in your recycling you could use. You grab a sheet of plywood. That's four by eight. That is a garden bed right there. Plunk a sheet of plywood down. You're going to start your bed going. That's step number one. Step number two. Find a farmer with some poop. Find some nice aged poop. Not just any poop. Could have a lot of weeds in it. You watch out. If you can't find a farmer, you could go buy some from Home Depot. Some compost. Just get your hands on some sort of compost or manure that is suitable to go on your garden because the very best thing you can do for that plot that you're currently killing with your Amazon boxes is amend it. I don't think you can Amazon poop, but that would be awesome. We should look at it. Probably. We'll maybe link something to order. <laughs> Seriously though, I got poop from a, a beef rancher, my neighbor, and I brought so many weeds into my garden that I just kicked myself for years. So how would you make sure that you didn't have a bunch of weeds then? Honestly, you want something that's been tarped, so I would try and find someone who's actually prepared this to sell, which means it's been tarped also to kill off the weeds. If it cooks at a certain temperature, it's going to kill off the weed seeds. So just getting something out of a neighbor's barn, you have no guarantee. You could just be setting yourself up for a lot of headaches. So there's people that actually will compost their animal poop. Why are we talking so much about poop? Because it's really helpful if you're gardening. You want to find someone who's maybe even using this for their own garden because you know they're taking care to kill the weed seeds. So, you're going to tarp it. You're going to order your seeds. You're going to find a friend with some poop to just put on it. What sort of seeds are we going to order? You're All gonna, the fun things and colorful things? Let's be honest. If you're converting a piece of lawn, it's going to have some compaction. It's not going to be light, fluffy soil that's going to grow amazing carrots. So don't plant root vegetables this year. When your month is passed of your Amazon boxes killing some grass, you're going to go out, you're going to uncover it. You're going to take away all the dead stuff on top, grass, weeds, whatever, and you're going to grab a pitchfork or a shovel and you're just going to dig it in and loosen it up. You're not going to kill yourself trying to go a foot deep, but you're going to loosen up that top six inches so that you can grow things like Paris Market carrots that are just a small ball carrot. They look like a radish. You could grow some beets. They don't need to go super deep. And so other than carrots, you can plant lettuce. Lettuce doesn't things. need deep into your ground. Trust that in time, the more you plant, the more the roots of the things you are growing are going to loosen it. But for right now, in your first year, focus on surface plants. So lettuce, kale, peas, beans, make your life easy. Don't, gra don't grow a bean that needs to be staked eight feet. Bush beans grow this tall and you don't need to put a lot of work into something for them to grow up. Same with your peas. Grab a bush pea because you just need to throw a few sticks in the ground and they will be happy climbing up this high without giving yourself more work. Grow your peas, plant some lettuce beside it, the peas will shade the lettuce, your lettuce will grow longer. Mulch it like crazy. Number three, when all your things have come up and you can cover and you can see them easy enough to work around, get some straw, get some old cardboard, get whatever you can that is going to cover that soil because bare soil invites weeds, you reduce 
um, you lose a lot of moisture through bare soil. I was going to say there's more evaporation. You're not retaining as much water. So the key of this is to make your garden as little work as possible. So putting straw or cardboard down on all the spots where there's bare soil, your pathways around your cabbages, around your broccolis is more work for a couple days. It's going to be far less work over the season because you're going to have to water it less, you're going to have to weed it less, you're going to have way more fun. And then all that mulch that you added is going to help next year's garden because it's going to rot in and it's going to loosen your soil more. Next year when you go to turn it over, it's going to make your soil fluffier so you can work towards planting things that need to go deeper. It's just going to make it better. Nature abhors a vacuum. Nowhere in nature do you see bare soil. Anywhere there is bare soil, you have weeds filling in. Keep and your we soil don't want covered. the weeds to fill in. So if you don't fill in with something, nature's going to. Yeah, so keep your soil covered. It is feeding your soil. It is adding more nutrients. It is breaking down to create more organic matter, which is just going to grow better things in the future. Cover your soil. Always cover your soil. Don't garden naked. Yeah, I live too close to the highway to garden naked. Don't garden with your soil naked. If you are starting a garden for the first time this year, or do you have anything to add for those who are starting their garden this year, I would love if you could share below your tips for people who are starting their first garden this year. Also, first garden starters, don't be afraid to kill something. I kill something different every year. Oh goodness, you're always going to kill something when you're gardening. You know what? You kill one thing one year and the next year you are going to slay it. It is going to be amazing. That thing that you killed last year, you're just learning. You're failing up. But you know what? When that thing's amazing next year, you can kill something else. So don't sweat it. Just don't sweat it. One bonus tip would be to look at your gardening zone because that is going to determine what you plant and when you plant it. Absolutely. So you need to look up your area. When is your last frost date and when is your first frost date and what your hardiness zone is because this is going to determine what sort of thing you plant. Yeah, don't work against yourself, but make your life easier. Absolutely. Mulch everything.